In this video, we're going to be exploring some of the brand new features in the latest 2025 version of the cabinetry plugin for Revit. I'm going to be showing you how to use the AI cottage cabinetry. Also, I'm going to be showing you how to use clone and style tools, how to add a crown and cornice. And also we're going to be exploring some of the new handle type and handle hosting features, as well as a new Gala profile tool. Let's go. Now quickly before we jump into Revit, if you don't know, uh, this cabinetry plugin is available on PalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. If cabinetry, uh, making kitchens uh, and other type of cabinetry uh, is something that you do in your workflow and if you would like to use Revit for that, well then this is the ultimate plugin for that. It allows you to create all sorts of cabinetry for kitchens, walk-in closets and other cabinetry around houses. Now it's available in Revit 2025 with the latest 25 version and it includes a lot of new features and we're going to be covering some of those now. So now without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. Now, as you can see, I have this uh, kind of classical kitchen. I have most of the design there. However, we do need to fill out some of these panels. Now, instead of having to select each one individually and then try to find what I want to use, in this case, I know I want to use this type of a cabinet. So I can just copy this or clone it by going here to data info, RCCS, and then here we have the clone tool. You select the clone tool, you click on the item you want to clone and then where you want to clone it to. So I want to clone it to here, 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 here. Now we do still have an issue here where these are not deep enough. So I'm just going to select this one, hold the control key, select this one and just change the depth to 58 hit enter and now it's just going to adapt to the proper depth I want to see. Now up here I want to have some sort of crown molding or cornice or something like that. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here to architecture, go to wall and then I'm going to pick out this basic wall and use wall by face or pick faces. And then I'm just going to pick this face, this one, this one, this one and this one. Then I'm going to use trim and extend to corner to fix it up here and here and yeah that's it. Then let's go back here to RCCS 25, hit the escape key a couple of times, go to uh, void and then I'm just going to use the void for all of these elements just because I don't need them anymore. I have that wall there and now let's add some sort of a crown molding or a cornice. So for that let's go here and find our crown cornice here. We can see we have multiple profiles which we can use. I'm just going to stick with the crown six. I want it to be horizontal. So now let's just pick the top here on all of the, all of the walls. So let's do this one as well and this one and there we go. So now if I go back to modify, now it's done. And as you can see, we have that molding on top and it looks really, really nice. And here also I've noticed that we have these two uh, dishwashers, which I don't want to have here. I just want cabinets. So what they'll do for that is again, I'm just going to use the clone tool. So let's clone this a couple of times and hit the escape key a couple of times. And there we go. So we have finished this really cool classical kitchen design. Moving on, let's take a look at this more modern kitchen and we have these nice uh, hidden drawers and I don't like to ruin this design by adding regular handles. So let's add uh, something a bit more elegant, which is going to be a gola handle. So for that, let's go here to insert and then here we have the Gola C profile and a Gola J, J profile. I'm going to pick a Gola C profile and then let's place one here just like that. I'm going to hit the escape key a couple of times and now I'm going to go back here to architecture and I'm just going to set the work plane, go to pick a plane and let's pick one of these up here. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to add a Gola C profile up there. 
just like that. Hit the escape key a couple of times and this is what we get. Now we obviously want to adjust this a bit more so let's open up one of the elevations. Here we can see those so now I'm just going to select this one and drag it all the way out here. I can even lock it in place, do the same thing on the other side, lock it in place just like that and then let's do the same thing with this one. There we go. Okay, so now let's go to the 3D view. Now this looks already nice, however, it isn't cutting all of the drawers. So to do that, I'm just going to switch this to global and then let's go here to model and go to cut. And now it's just going to make that cut automatically for us. So we have that beautiful C uh, Gola profile over here for these drawers. And even if I open up uh, the level one floor plan and then let's create a quick section running through this, just like that, open it up. What you'll notice here, if I just make this smaller, there we go. Now you, you can see that we actually have a really nice profile here even in the section so it's going to look nice even in these section views and of course you can select that profile, go into edit type and here you can adjust the width and other parameters like that. So there we go. Now let's move on to handles. So here we have some drawers with handles. Now when it comes to handles we have of course type and as you can see we have 11 different types that we can choose from and of course we can toggle the handles on and off. Now we also have the option to adjust the size and all of those parameters as well as the position. Uh, now here you'll notice that this first drawer has an inset, now these don't. Uh, so you can actually toggle the inset uh, over here. So if I just go to inset and then let's set it to five centimeters, I can toggle it on for this drawer as well. And what you'll notice is that the handle will drop in uh, to that new surface position of the inset of the panel. So just like that, as you can see, it moves in. And then if I click again to toggle the inset off, it's going to move back to the in front of that surface. Now, if I hit the escape key a couple of times, we can also move the position of the handle with the uh, XYZ option. So if I say top, click here, it's just going to move that handle on the top and it's also going to pull it out. So it's uh, basically on the, uh, on the face of this drawer here. Now we can also change the position of the handle. So in this case, as you can see, I have these handles uh, on these cabinets. So if I would like to change their position, I can just go here to XYZ and then I can say, okay, I want the X offset. And then I can type a value here of minus five centimeters. Click, so it's just going to move these uh, by that value uh, in the direction that they've defined, positive or negative here with the value. So we can accurately adjust the uh, position of the handles, their size, uh, and, and so on. Okay, now let's create some cottage cabinetry. So here we have a layout uh, done with all of the, the grids, and I'm going to go to RCCS-25, and then let's use an AI for this. But first, I'm just going to switch this to global. And then let's go to AI. And here we have cabinetry cottage. So I'm just going to select that and let's uh, let the AI do its magic. And this is the result that we're going to get. I, I really like the way that this turned out. Now I'm just going to keep the uh, option to to global. And then let's uh, add an inset and I'm just going to go with frosted glass. Uh, now I'm going to add this to, yeah, let's go with five and then yeah, frosted glass and let's give it a few seconds. And this is the result that we get. And now I want to apply these to these upper cabinets as well. So I want to have a similar style. So what I can do is I can just go here to our CCS and then we can copy either or just clone or style. So let's try style and see what we get. So I'm just going to do this. I picked this style and applied it here. This looks okay, however, I would actually prefer it to have a couple of doors. So let's then do that. So instead of style, let's go back to clone and then clone this here. And this is the result that we get. And now I'm just going to apply this for the rest of them. And now let's do something about the handles. Instead of these, I would just like to have knobs. So I'm going to type in here three 
as three centimeters. And then let's go here to type and go with, let's go with knob number one. And then because we have the global option checked on, it's going to apply it everywhere just like this. And now we can also uh, change the material. So let's just switch this to black, much nicer. So I really like the way that this turned out. And finally, let's add a cornice up here. So we're just going to repeat the same process that we did in the beginning, which is just uh, add a wall by face here, then go and apply a void uh, here for this upper element. So we have a wall there. And finally, let's add that uh, cornice. So I'm just going to go here. There we go. Like this one, place it like that. And there we go, perfect. And now we have a design that looks really, really nice. And as you can see, it was extremely quick to make and we can continue to modify it as we wish uh, if we decide to make any changes in the future. So these were some of the new features. Thank you for watching. If you want to check it out, as I said, the link will be up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. So you can get your own version of this cabinetry plugin for Revit 2025 to start uh, playing around with cabinetry in Revit yourself. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.